Carol Angrosani. I'm going to show you some interesting new products that I just added to my kitchen. Also, during these days of limited store hours and limited product availability, we may not be able to get everything on our grocery list. So I'm going to show you some easy substitutes for some key grocery staples. We'll be right back. Washington, Jefferson, Adams. You can read the founders' names in the history books, but one name that you may not find is Selwyn Douglas, spelled with two O's. While the others may be the fathers of this country, Douglas was the father of store brands. There, in his small shop in Concord, Massachusetts, he sold food and beverages, household necessities, and health remedies. You could buy directly from the big barrels inside his store or choose the things you needed from his shelves. They all came with his store's guarantee of quality. They were priced fairly, too. And when he wrapped up your items, he signed his name right on the packing paper, so you would always know where you bought things. That was the beginning of retailer store brands, and it hasn't changed in over 200 years. Store brands. Thank you, Selwyn Douglas. Welcome back. We have had a lot of time to cook more dishes and try new recipes. So I want to show you some of the new groceries I have added to my kitchen. We may not be traveling abroad like we once did, but there's no reason why we can't enjoy a nice ethnic meal in the comfort of our own homes. This is a Moroccan inspired simmer sauce. It contains harissa and red peppers. And all you need to do is add chicken and vegetables and you have a North African style meal in minutes. Now this is part of Kroger's upscale preferred selection store brand and it's available in all Kroger owned stores. Next, you can complement the meal with this rosé wine. Now this is unique because this is made with organically grown grapes from France. And it's part of a new line of organic wine from Kroger Company. It's sold under the Simple Truth store brand. And along with this rosé, there's also a Cabernet and a Prosecco and a Sauvignon Blanc. And each bottle sells for about $14.99. Finally, what I have here is something that can enhance that cake. It is a, it's a flavored whipped topping. And this is special because they come in a pre-filled piping bag that has a built-in tip so you can make flowers or rosettes on a cake on brownies or whatever else. And what also makes it unique is that it's flavored. So this is caramel and it comes in two other flavors, cafe mocha and vanilla bourbon. So it's sold in the frozen's department and it's a really special treat. With groceries like these, meals are anything but boring. Now you can get these at any Kroger owned store. So that includes Kroger, Fred Meyer and Ralph's. Next up, when we come back, I'll show you some simple swaps if you can't get certain pantry staples at the supermarket. One of the most famous sculptors in the world is The Thinker. For ages, people have wondered exactly what he was thinking about. Some say he's thinking about the meaning of life. Others say he's contemplating the billions of stars and planets in the universe. But we know better. The Thinker is pondering how to save money at the supermarket. The answer, of course, is quite simple. The answer is store brands. Those great products that retailers offer with their own brand on it. Just as good as more expensive national brands, but better prices. Now that's not so complicated. Store brands, the thinker knows. Welcome back. These days, your supermarket may be out of some of the grocery items on your list, but the good news is that there are some easy substitutions. For instance, if you're baking and out of eggs, you can use applesauce instead. Simply use a quarter cup of applesauce per egg. Another item you can use in place of an egg, the banana. And that's especially good for extra sweet baking dishes. Next, if you're out of rice, now is the perfect time to tap into the cauliflower trend. Cauliflower is neutral tasting, so it really absorbs whatever spice or sauce you're using with it. So you can just chop it up and use it just like rice. Another substitution for rice is orzo. While orzo is a pasta, it looks like a fat rice. And other substitutions for rice include barley, quinoa, even couscous. Now, what about potatoes? If you're out of potatoes, try lentils. They're gluten-free, inexpensive, and a great comfort food. What about butter? When frying, you can substitute butter for any type of oil, either vegetable or sunflower or olive oil. And when you're baking, you can use as a substitute an equal amount of margarine, or lard, or even this. This is solid coconut oil, so that's a great substitution for butter and baking. Next, breadcrumbs are a key ingredient in recipes like meatloaf, 
and meatballs, they act as a binding ingredient. But what if you're out of them? There's many ingredients right in your own pantry that you can use as a replacement, like oats. They act as a great substitute for breadcrumbs. And also, if you want to use breadcrumbs for a coating for fish or chicken, you can use potato chips or even crackers. And what you do is just put them in a bag like this and you roll them out with a rolling pin and you can use them just like you would breadcrumbs. We've talked about food, so let's move on to non-food. Now, one non-food item that's pretty hard to find these days are disinfecting sprays and sanitizing wipes. But did you know you have alternatives already in your house? Along with rubbing alcohol, one effective sanitizer is hydrogen peroxide. You can pour a little in a spray bottle like this, spray it on a surface, and let it sit for about six to eight minutes, and then wipe it off. You can still make your favorite dishes and clean your home with these and other swaps. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our Store Brands USA YouTube channel. See you next time.